I was designed to save the world. People who have looked to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. So you guys are already established actors. So how does the fact that you guys establish affect auditions? I think it's a fun part of the process. I think it's the beginning part of the conversation to see if like you even like the way the director wants to work even. Um, yeah, I think, I think in the auditioning process is still a discovery of it and you get to explore it whilst you're in it, I think. And there's no pressure about it, yeah. It's completely yours at that time. It's not anyone else's. I really enjoy auditions. In the film, there's amazing scenes, some massive action-packed set pieces. Yes. Did you guys pick up any cool skills for your CVs? Well, the stunt guys are this, you know, I've, been, I've worked with a few times now, but uh, they're, 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 they're really cool guys, man. Some of them are like, incredible parkour, like the best of the best as well. Like, okay. Parkour guys, uh, gymnasts, uh, jiu-jitsu, martial mm -hmm. artists, you know, that. so you really pick up. I mean, after all that, I did start doing some jiu-jitsu and kickboxing and okay. things like that, and it was a lot of fun. So um, how does the fact that, um, obviously, comic books have a, such a massive fan base. How does that affect how you, how you approach the role? You have to know as much as the fans do and more. Like, you, you just have to know the, con like, I, that's, how, that's how we felt. We, the first thing we did was like, give us everything that our characters have ever been in. <laughs> um, and so we both got these, like, the Bible of our characters, basically. <laughs> um, and, uh, and that's where we started, and then after that, we gotta go deeper. We gotta make it more um, human. We gotta make it part of this world with Joss, and um, and we take ownership of it at the end of the day. You're mentioning Josh. Um, the fact is well known that he is a uh, he loves Quicksilver and Scarlet Scarlet Witch. Why do you think it took him so long to introduce you guys to the franchise or into the storyline? I, I think what is really nice. Oh, sorry. I don't. No. Go on. Zip. If you want it, I, maybe. Should I take it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what I was going to say was what I love about this, but I think Joss really had a lot of fun with, by using Scarlet Witch uh, as a character, was uh, enabled him to be able to dig deep into each superhero and their characters, like um, Lizzie said before. They're this makes it such an emotional journey, and it really unlocks a different side to these, these, these superheroes and humanizes them. It's, it makes more sense to allow them to come, like the issue in the first one is that they weren't a team. Now they're a team. And now you want to, and so now now you you want to break figure, them up. Yeah, now you want to figure out how to change that dynamic. Well, thank you guys so much uh, for talking thank to you. me. It was absolutely a pleasure. That's fun, dude. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. We can tear them apart.